Hello dear friends, myself Professor Khodadir Rishikesh and you are watching BSc Classes Botany Studies channel. Here in this lecture video, we are going to discuss about multiple choice questions on plant physiology, especially flowering topic. So flower development is given in your syllabus, short day plant, long day plant, vernalization and photoperiodism topics are there in syllabus. But questions can be designed in this topic are of diverse type. I will try to highlight 30 different type of question by which I will try to explain you the possible reason. The first question on the screen is phytochrome pigment is related to photonastism. The options are photoperiodism, photorespiration, photonastism and geotropism. So possible answer is photoperiodism obviously phytochrome is always related to it. The second question is in which plant phytochrome is found? <laughs> so options are algae, fungi, flowering plants A and B both obviously phytochrome are responsible for flowering that's why the option C is the answer for this question so nothing is difficult about it third question is when a mandatory period of light is given in dark duration or to short day plant what will happen flowering response is not seen stimulus flowering takes place in that season flowering will more convert short day into long day so first option was right fourth question is what is responsible for response of photoperiodism leaf bird shoot apex or flower so what will give response to the photoperiodism obviously the flowering is the response for the photoperiodism fifth question is most of the plant produces flowering most of the plant produce flowering in season in which situation is responsible for this so there are various options obviously the photoperiodism is the answer for this question so sixth question is low temperature treatment is given to the seed and get rapid germination that method is known as option b will be the possible answer for this question because it is chilling treatment when we give the treatment of cool temperature it will okay how much temperature should be propering in vernalization so there are various options and this is a tricky question so the temperature range between 1 degree celsius to 10 degree celsius is the right answer for this question please remember this Eighth question is by which process the natural uncertainty of flowering is removed? By which process flowering can be removed? Photoperiodism, uh, photorespiration, notation and vernalization. Which process natural uncertainty means by vernalization you can induce flowering in indirect meaning it. Which hormone is responsible for vernalization? Obviously the option C is vernalin hormone uh, is responsible for vernalization. It is a conceptual hormone which is responsible for it. So okay, which hormone is used in place of vernalization? If you do not want to give vernalization treatment, to replace vernalization, you have to apply this option C, gibberellin hormone here to induce flowering in your plant. Eleventh question is, what is used useful for spinach vegetable to keep it green for a long period? So the option B, cytokinin will be very useful obviously cytokinin is very much useful for keeping material fresh 12th question is the process of rolling of leaf is known as leaf rolls after sunset in that condition we generally it called as a photo nasty so you should remember these types of words process in which 13th question floral bird is uh, is converted into flower which process you will call it as the option C will be the because it is innate process so it is autonomous movement you should remember many things may be new for you I don't know what type of study material you are referring but these questions are will be there please read the question carefully which sentence is correct so C question, uh, sentence phytochrome pigment stimulus growth okay 15th question you may pause the video to read the question one hormone induces germination and second hormone responsible for flowering in pineapple and third hormone responsible for senescence so options are gibberellin oxygen and cytokinin 16th question is in which plant a treatment is given by gibberellin so male flower converted into female flower so it is very well known example of banana where you can give the treatment of gibberellin to create them as a female plant okay when plant get light from only one side plant get curvature movement direction okay it is related with the plant movement to light is not responsible for photosynthesis or flowering it also responsible for plant movement so oxygen is present that's why it shows movement so one plant gives flowering three times so in that situation what can you say it is not light dependent so obviously the option will be it is thermosensible but not photosensible 
सोयाबीन गिवज फ्लॉवरिंग इन विंटर सीजन विंटर सीजन जनरली डे ड्यूरेशन इज स्मॉल सो डे ड्यूरेशन इज स्मॉल दैट्स वाई इट इज नोन एज ऑप्शन बी विल बी द एंसर शॉर्ट डे प्लांट एच डी पी वी जनरली कॉल इज सोयाबीन इज व्री फेमस एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एच डी पी सम ऑफ द सीडलिंग ऑफ टोमेटो प्लांट आर केप्ट इन डार्कनेस फॉर फ्यू डेज दे डू नॉट शो एनी काइंड ऑफ कलर सो इट इज ऑल्सो ऑलवेज नोन एज इटिवलेशन कंडीशन इटिवलेटेड सीडलिंग मीन्स वे दे डो नॉट हैव फेस लाइट दैट्स वाई दे आर व्हाइट सो सम प्लांट गेटिंग ट्वेल्व आवर लाइट ट्वेल्व आवर डार्कनेस नाव ट्वेल्व आवर डार्क पीरियड इज डिसकंटिन्यूड बाय द लाइट देन this type of plant also known as short day plant because darker period is necessary compared to the light period biological clock is regulated by which phytochrome cryptochrome gibberellin or a or b so option a will be the correct answer no option phytochrome and cryptochrome are correct answer 23rd question which is mismatch pair among the following question which option is the mismatch ऑक्सीजन ग्रोथ जिब्रेलिंग जिब्रेलिक फंजाई साइटोकैन इन डी एन ए ऑफ स्पर्म ए बी ए फ्लावरिंग ए बी ए ऑलवेज इन ए बेटर हॉर्मोन रिमेंबर इट डू नॉट प्रोड्यूस फ्लावरिंग दो इट वॉज मिस मैच सो हियर इज अ कॉलम इन विच वी हैव कॉलम वन कॉलम टू एंड एट द राइट साइड आई हैव शोन यू द ऑप्शन ए बी सी डी सो यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट द करेक्ट पेयर प्लीज पॉज द वीडियो एंड सी केयरफुल इज द क्वेश्चन सो ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो सेम कॉलम मैचिंग वेयर वी हैव two columns on which we have to find out why i am giving you such questions it will help you to sharpen your concept regarding flowering so please read the question by pausing the video try to take screenshot of questions so this is uh, 60 26th question so there are two column again and we have put the option there a b c d so out of them c option is correct so why c option is correct you must have studied so 27th question again we have two columns in one column uh, hormones are given second column we have physiological response so out of them a b c d which is the correct the a option is correct i have also provided the answers so 28th answer is true or false regarding the first sentence is phytochrome pigment is responsible for photoperiodism okay fluorogen hormone is responsible for photoperiodism so both sentences are seems to be correct so yes d true true both sentences are true so this is somewhat complicated 29th question there are four sentences are given out of them you have to pick out of four which sentences are true or which sentences is false so the first option is there so you pause the video and uh, read it carefully the last question is 13th question so out of three options which is true and which is false you have to notice here so it was the b option where all sentences are true so i would like to tell you that please revise whatever your teacher have taught you and these are the topics which are you cannot skip for the exam this is very interesting topic flowering because in msc level you will have more study regarding flowering in sybsc or bsc level it is just general short day or long day plant but it is not as simple as it is given in your syllabus many genes are regulating the flowering phenomenon so i would advise you to please read further references and for getting more mcqs regarding physiology and many other subjects uh, in botany please subscribe the channel so uh, i will upload the videos and you will get the notifications so thank you for your time for watching this video definitely we will meet in next video but before that don't forget to like the video and please comment whatever you are feeling regarding this video thank you bye